Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Beth Chats Books. Now today's video is going to be my TBR for the past and future readathon. So this is hosted by Emily over at Novel Novels and Gemma from Read a Book Gem. So I'll link their announcement videos down below and their TBR videos down below. So before I get into this, I just want to apologise that I am a little bit red in the face because I'm right next to the radiator that's on and I have switched it down, but it is boiling right now and it is late at night. So I'm trying to be fairly quiet and that's why I have the light on because there is no natural light. And also, yeah, I'm wearing my new Christmas pyjamas and I just wanted to film this because I'm going to be really busy in the next few weeks. And so I wanted to get this out there and participate in this month while it's all fresh before life takes over. Also, we got the announcement today that we are in lockdown for at least another month. So I'm probably just going to be chilling out in my pyjamas and reading a lot and reading hopefully these books for this TBR. So let's just get on with this. So I am going to link all the questions down below, but I'm only going to answer the ones that are applicable to the books that I'm going to be reading and what I'm going to be participating with. So the first one that I want to mention is try a new to you author. And for that, I'm going to pick Whereabouts by Jumper Lahiri. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, um, but I'll put a picture up here. So I have been approved this by NetGalley as a proof ebook. And I've never read anything by this author. I know this author is really well loved in the booktube community and in the book lovers community in general. This is a well respected author and I've never read anything by this author. So I'm hoping to start with this book. I don't know anything about it. It's just on my NetGalley to be read NetGalley shelf on my app. So I will tell you guys about it when I read it, but obviously I did not prepare very well. I have no idea what it's about. It looks like it's a historical fiction maybe, but yeah, I know nothing. And then the next one I want to mention is read a new release you can't wait for. So I'm picking The Push by Ashley O'Drain and I'm currently reading that. I also got approved that on NetGalley as an ebook proof and I'm about two or three chapters in, it seems really interesting. So it's from the beginning, the perspective of a woman who's looking in on a family. It has the husband, a son, a daughter and the wife. And she is listening into their evening and looking in at them from her car, which is near the driveway of the property. And we kind of learn from her perspective that the daughter in the family, maybe it's the son, I can't remember, Maybe it's the son. Anyway, one of the children, she implies, is her child. And then we're going back in time through the woman's perspective. The first chapter focuses on her experience of her mother's relationship with her mother. So I don't know where it's going yet. I've literally read about two or three chapters, so it will piece together and then I'll know what it's about. But it's really, really intriguing for now. I've kind of been sucked straight into that story, so I can't wait to finish that and, and see how I get on with that one. Then I have picked for number seven, read a book in a new format to you, e.g. verse, multimedia or stream of consciousness. So this is a if I manage to read what I'm set to read, this is an additional, potentially I'll read this month, but I wanted to participate in, in this readathon and create a TBR. So I create an overambitious TBR um, and we'll just see what I get through. But the one book I wanna mention for this prompt is On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Wong. Now this is in an epistolary style, I believe a series of letters that the character writes to his mother and I know that this author is a poet so I know that this is an experimental writing style. A lot of people raved about this book this year, it was on some people's favourites list and I know it got high praise on the booktube prize reading and a lot of people say it reads more like poetry than it does like fiction. 
so um, I really want to get to this at some point. So I thought I'd put it on the TBR because it looks relatively short, so I might be able to get through that this month. And then the next one I want to mention is read a book recommended to you by an older relative or friend. So I have two options and I can just see where I go with this. And so both of them were recommended by my mum to read. And the first is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. This has had so much buzz in the last few weeks and months on Booktube. It won the Women's Prize for Fiction this year. I know Simon over at Savage Reads loved it and April from Getting Hugo with it loved it. I know it focuses on Shakespeare's son Hamnet and his illness and his death and what inspired William Shakespeare to write the play Hamlet. So I don't know anything more than that but everyone says that this is Maggie O'Farrell's masterpiece so I really want to get to it very very soon. And then I also have the last Robert Galbraith book in the series or the latest to date and that is Trouble Blood. This is massive so this might not get read this month. Mum said it is left quite open so there might be another book but she said it was fantastic. Me and my mother really enjoy the Robert Galbraith Cormorant Strike series and it's just cosy and comforting and I love it and I seem to race through it even though the books are quite big but this is absolutely massive and it's such a heavy hardback um, but yeah I really want to get to this uh, this year for sure also I just want to mention I just realized I didn't mention this readathon is hosted for the whole month of January and you can participate by literally doing one of the prompts or all of the prompts so I've chosen to just do a select few but all the additional information will be in the videos linked down below. Another prompt that I want to participate in is read a book by a friend's favourite author that you haven't tried before. I'm slightly cheating for this, so I'm picking so I'm picking Jasmine over at Jasmine's Reads, and she is a booktube friend of mine and she raves about Anne Tyler's books. Now I've technically read one Anne Tyler book, which is a spool of blue thread, but I really think she's an author that I'm gonna love and I haven't had a chance to go through a backlist. So I wanted to put her book on this prompt because I have one of her novels. And that is the most recent novel of hers, which is Redhead by the Side of the Road. And also because it's very short, I thought it would be a sneaky way to get this on my TBR in January. So I really don't know much about this novel either. I think the picture is just absolutely stunning. Um, but uh, it says a man, Mr. Mortimer, has he ever stopped to consider his life, the meaning of it, the point? Does it trouble him to think that he will probably spend his next 30 or 40 years this way? I think there's an event, maybe there's an accident, um, and it, it takes him out of his hermit lifestyle and he has to face things. Okay, no, it says when a teenager shows up at Mika's door claiming to be his son, he's confronted with another surprise he seems poorly equipped to handle. Um, she just does really great intimate relationships between characters whether they're family members like, or platonic friendships. I just really loved in a spool of blue thread how she dealt with um, the individual characters in this boisterous large family. I just think it was fantastic so I want to get around to reading more of her work. And then the last book that I want to put on my TBR is the prompt that says read a book from the year you're born or around that time. So I googled this I was born in 1996 and apparently this book was published in 96 and was awarded a prize in 96 and that is Margaret Atwood's Alias Grace or Elias Grace, I don't really know how you say that, that's how I say it, Alias Grace, Elias Grace, something like that. I have recently seen the Netflix drama of this, me and my stepmother watched it. I know it came out a few years ago and I think it was very well done but it's really interesting because the last episode was a little bit odd and I kind of want to read this and see whether those odd supernatural elements are actually present in this book or not. So this follows a character in the 1840s and she's accused of murder and then a man 
wants to interview her about the murder so from prison he starts compiling her testimony of what's happened and we take the story from there again typical margaret atwood it is a very hefty book a lot of her books are and i really want to get around to reading the robber bride and the blind assassin and i do at some point want to see whether i'd enjoy her science fiction i know the oryx and crake series is really highly regarded on booktube but i also really wanted to read this it's been on my shelves for ages so i'm gonna hopefully put it on my tbr i don't hold out much hope that i'll actually read it in january because i picked a few chunkers but they were lying around and i thought a lot of them fitted the prompt so i'm being optimistic and putting them on anyway i do have some annual leave to take in january so Hopefully I can dedicate some serious time to reading, especially considering we're now in a lockdown and I've got nothing better to do. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with a brand new video. Bye now.